Hey guys, we're watching The Ted Show by Seth MacFarlane. And if you want to watch more Ted us watch, then get this video- 10,000 likes. Get this video to 10,000 likes. Holy crap, guys. And if you want to head over to patreon.com slash spill the milk, you can watch our Total Drama Revenge of the Island video series Let's Play. And Avatar The Last Airbender. And subscribe if you love Mark Wahlberg. Little John Bennett wished on a shooting star that his teddy bear would come to life. We're speed running the fucking backstory right now. This is for all the idiots. Idiots that didn't watch the original masterpiece. Eventually. Oh, dude, they're playing this song. Is it the theme song of the show? But Lazy. Get a new great. song. They're being economical. You think they were going to make a whole new soundtrack just for a Peacock show? Do they have other shows on Peacock? The Office. Oh, yeah, it's the Office streaming service. <laughs> they should have just called it that, to be honest. Like, theoffice.com. Theoffice.com. It would have blown up so much more. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Are they supposed to be m You don't say m You say little people. M is rude. Why is it rude? He's short. <laughs> Ted is allowed to say it. He reclaimed the word. Well, I mean, technically. Yeah. That's not the same. Why not? You're a teddy bear. So what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He sounds more like Peter Griffin in the show. Who hit it? I didn't see. But I was packed outside the Hong Kong buffet. Ooh, racism. This is Mark Wahlberg's backstory. That's why they couldn't get Mark Wahlberg for this adaptation because of the, <laughs> the racism in the show. I'm sorry. What? I'm just saying. It's a bullshit stereotype. Tell that to my car. My car. The woke sister. I love this. Every sitcom needs a woke sister. It makes it's it weirdly prevalent. This actually. is the American dad dynamic. I'm not a racist. My favorite movie is Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> He's Italian. You can be racist too. What? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. Do you remember when you were a little girl? <laughs> She's a what? little girl. What? Did little... she say that and you're the N word as a kid or something? You used to cut the black Barbie's hair off first to see how it looked. <laughs> Bro, all little kids are racist, dude. You can't be bringing up the kid what, card. Hold on. All little kids Every are... child is born racist. You yeah, have yeah, to retroactive. You come out of the womb racist, and then you have to beat the racism out of them. That's yes, how it exactly. Works. Did you cut the black bobbies here first? Fine. Yes, okay. I, I... Bro, he slammed the desk like he just destroyed the argument. You didn't even bring that up, bro. What, what, what was the black bobby's name? <laughs> This is like, I feel like I'm watching like Ben Shapiro destroys a liberal in debate right now. What about Ted? Hmm? He's never had a day of education in his life, and it shows. This is the premise for the show. Okay, they're building Ted's the premise. Ted's going to show. high school, baby. Ted, you might have fun. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure John would love to have you there. And the bitches are crazy. He needs to find, like, a female teddy bear, dude. Oh, no, Ted fucks real women. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's racist, bro. He can only, be, he can only date other bears? Like, fuck yeah. That's what I'm telling you. Every kid is born racist. Oh, let's see if we can find where Maddie hides his point. Something so sad. good Ted looks like it's kind of creepy. It looks amazing. And that animation of him falling up the stairs is so goofy. Oh, talk about the right to bear arms. Oh, sh yo. See, he this doesn't is... need. He's a gun guy. That's how he gets the frustrations out, bro. He'd be shooting fucking random people outside the Hong Kong Chinese place, bro. Is he using a slip and slide gun combo? It's like a Valorant air like slide effect. Ted is realizing the American dream right now. Oh my god, <laughs> that is fucking awesome. Oh my god, that's why he goes. He basically shot his girlfriend there. <laughs> Oh, hey, Maddie. What? He got the baddies over? I accidentally shot it. Yeah, and I felt really bad about it. And then I was like, hey, Ted, it was an accident. You gotta de-stress sometimes. He's his own therapist. He gave himself a prescription. Imagine you go to therapy and they're like, uh, I think you should get some hookers. That would really help you out. <laughs> God damn. This is a private school if I've ever seen one, man. Dude, he's gonna be the coolest kid in school or he's gonna be bullied instantly. There's no in between. Oh, last year we had an Indian kid. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but they got him. They got him? They got him? What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Holy shit. Who is that? Bethany's sister. The girl that's like 15 years older than him. <laughs> he has a crush on her. What's her name? Sheila. Think fast, Bennett. Oh, oh God. What? I love over the top movie bullies. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck? Punch He's... directly in the ball. He's quick with it, though. You know, I don't want to speculate on who's gay, but didn't you just touch his p twice? Oh, uh, the backup. Hey, anybody else here gay? How is it? <laughs> You're still a fucking dork. 
Oh, but now he doesn't hate gay people. He just hates dorks. He doesn't hate gay people anymore. Ted made him more progressive. From 1814 to 1815, following the writing of Ty You didn't tell me I have to fucking learn in this reaction today. I just want to hear Family Guy. It's a, the public school system, Jack. You're not going to learn real history. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You need to go to PragerU.com if you want to learn real history. PragerU. Okay, I'll write that down. And all that's best of dark and bright... Your wife is f***ing other guys. You don't complete verses in history. What the hell is this? This is English class now? Joke's on you, smart guy. Because my wife and I are having problems. <laughs> my, my wife is f***ing other guys. And I like to watch. My wife had an affair last year and- Oh my god, he hit it- he hit the nerve. I come in here every day acting like my life is great. This is- I feel like this is- he's gonna kill himself in this classroom right now. He's gonna use that tie. My daughter's having a pregnancy scare. Anyone want to talk about that? I do. I really- I want to know. <laughs> I mean, Who's the guy? This is a good story. <laughs> is Ted the father? He can put his fluff in there. If you can stuff a turkey, you can stuff a woman. I'm not gonna suspend you you or anything else we are going to make a successful student out of you i like this concept and it's you know it worked because of where he is in the first movie yeah he's so great in the first movie the babe oh <gasps> sheila wait oh she's older she doesn't go to high school well it's a classic furb in vanessa oh she's smoking weed and driving that's damn the it 90s was, it was the 90s bro it was the 90s you're allowed to do anything you wanted back then you get caught with drugs in school you're gone it's like zero tolerance here Oh fuck, wow. This is how they get into weed. Because he wanted, <laughs> he to, get wanted to get expelled. Because we know how it ends up. So he's just gonna like torture every teacher in the entire show and he's not gonna learn. Because he's a fucking asshole in the movie. <laughs> if you don't come with me, I will tell her you bait to network television. You mother Does he? The way he responded. You can't always predict how long the scene is. So half the time you would to an establishing shot. Oh, Lord. Oh, fuck. A tasteful duplex. I would come to a tasteful duplex. I mean, in this economy, I go to Zillow and just jerk off the $2 million <laughs> houses. You just, uh, wash your hands? I had diarrhea. Hi, I'm Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Ted. How do you fumble that hard? Couldn't help but notice you were, uh, smoking a little pot. What, are you gonna narc on me? No, Teddy and I often partake of El Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Why is no one impressed by the teddy bear? I don't get I don't get it. We're looking to get some weed. We thought maybe you could help us out. How old are you again? 16 and a half. Oh, uh, the half. Why'd you have to add the half? The fucking camp bears are all meth addicts. Paddington's on quaaludes and Fozzie's a cokehead. Paddington is on quaaludes? Paddington? What? What are they hooking him up with in Darkest Peru? Dude, why do establishing shots just make everything look better than they actually are, bro? I, if I went to Boston, there's no way it looked like this. Why is Ghibli food so good, man? It's so good. This is my allowance for the month. Dad asked where it went. We bought tickets to see Schindler's List. We were so moved that we donated it to Jew causes. You started to the beginning of the Ted movie when, when they beat up the Jewish kid. Now they're donating to Jew causes, bro. This is scary. I don't like the sound of a baby mercilessly crying. It's kind of clean, though. This just looks like where Ted moves in the movie. Hi, I'm here for the week. No way. Le epic plot twist. The sister. Wait, the woke sister smokes weed? A woke hippie liberal smokes weed? What? No fuck no way. The fuck do you want? Wait, so I can't say it, but you can sell drugs? <laughs> <laughs> What's with all the noise? Who's this? Dude, why is she dressed up like Aladdin, bro? She has like the vest and everything, bro. Sarah and I grow it here in her apartment and we're using the money to help pay for tuition. That's a very noble cause. That's honestly good. Wait, Maddie charges you rent? Not as much as they pay for an apartment, but still. 200 bucks a month. Fuck, man, that sounds so good. I hate inflation. But why Why does, Why do we have to watch these shit taking place like 30 years ago, man? You've never smoked before, have you? What are you? What are you talking about? Yeah, I have. I do lots of drugs. I do I do the drug. I've done drug before. I've done late awesome drug. It's for me, Blair. I swear to God. When have I ever lied to you? Like 10 seconds ago when you said you were on coke? Well, yeah, but since then, I've given it to you straight. That's 10 true. seconds straight without lying is hard. <laughs> As a pathological liar, it's really hard to do that. Do you have any idea what it's like to be the biggest star in the world and then nobody gives a shit about you? I thought it said biggest Jew, like, mm -hmm. in the world. Do you have any idea what it's like to be the biggest Jew in the world? I gotta escape my demons, and it's either drugs or the church. You know what they do to guys my size? Oh, please don't make me suck a deacon's dick. And he's like the size of like a pastor boy forever, bro. Like he can't yeah, grow. Yeah, I guess he said he's donating to Jew causes, not Catholic causes. Not Catholic causes for a reason. I bet I'm the only kid in school who hasn't smoked. I haven't smoked. I haven't had sex. I haven't had a girlfriend. 
Clive's right. I'm a fucking loser. Yeah, you You'll definitely start with weed. He... That's the order. Yeah. Weed, sex, girlfriend. That's that's literally the order of life, and then you're done. You've completed life at that point. You and me have been best friends like our whole lives. We're about to get high together for the first time. Let's do this right. Pickle Rick Bong? No Pickle Rick Bong. Oh, it didn't exist back then. Their suit is gonna smell like weed for the rest of time. This is how the people who make Patrick Bateman edits, you know, smoke their first <laughs> one. You know what I mean? Is that a Pringles can? They're doing it out the Pringles can? You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, okay? Hello, God. It's me, Ted. Why does Ted look better in the suit than John? Because his is clearly tailored. Like, you know, he has to get it made for him specifically. Yeah, John looks like he got a suit. Like, that's a hammy. That's a church suit. They're playing the George Lopez song. There's no bah, other bah, names bah, bah, to the song. Bah, bah, bah. And then George Lopez appears. They hallucinate George Lopez appearing. This is so fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> Dude, imagine recording this as the kid. It's the perfect steakum. The perfect steakum. It's right here. Just <laughs> feel it. They couldn't be any more conspicuous. Jesus. You guys are acting like it's today's special illegal seafood. It's fine. Damn, bro. <laughs> Divorce that fucking asshole, dude. She deserves better, dude. She could she needs us, us three. We could be the husbands that she never had. It's funny, I ate all those steakums and I'm still hungry. <laughs> this is just such an authentic getting high for the first time experience. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where does the panic attack kick they in? They didn't smoke enough, dude. That'll come in due time. It was just for you. All right, okay. I didn't want to have to resort to this. I love you. See, now you're not mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to say no and I pressured him. No, 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 you're 16. All right, he's a talking teddy bear. It's his fucking fault. Okay. Why is the teddy bear more adult? Does he mature more quickly? So he sounds like Seth MacFarlane and John is still 16, so maybe he ages rapidly. Or maybe Seth MacFarlane has sounded that way since he was 16. Oh my God, your boy, he's on the room. Sounds like Carl Weezer, dude. Yeah, there's a lot here you're not understanding, Mrs. Fetchko. For God's sake, you've been listening to the news? Eisenhower says we all gotta stay inside. Oh my God! Dude, <laughs> gaslighting. I love that old lady Mrs. character. Mrs. Fetchko is such a crazy character. Okay, you little shit, you are in a lot of trouble. Look, it was- This is like the image of the, the lesbians, like the, the big lesbian holding up the small lesbian. Oh, yeah, you know that, you like know that one meme? So, if you were on a plane that crashed, and Tom Hanks and Diane Keaton were on it too, and they died and you survived, who would you eat first? What about the pilots? It's an experimental aircraft, all automated. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I oh love my god, I hate the people who try and think their way out of the hypothetical. I love the logic your way out of the hypothetical is genius. God damn it, Clive, we need that weed! Oh my god, there was no impact in that kick. Nobody throws shade at Pearl Shea. Yes, I apologize. We have all benefited from her windowsill wisdom. She is a national treasure. I like that. They're like bonding over shared love for media. Yeah, but but he had weed. All right, I'm a witness. I would need to see the marijuana for there to be consequences. <laughs> 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 they're trying. They're trying so hard to get in trouble, dude. Fuck. Shit. Let's go in here. Not the closet, bro. Doesn't Ted watch TV? He should know you don't go in the closet, man. Hasn't Ted ever listened to R. Kelly? When I was in high school, I used to forget sometimes and I'd get made fun of. Really? I hate that. That's probably why I'm so self-conscious about it. Jesus, what the f- that's Psy. And I saw that she lost a hand and I was so happy about it. Does it make me a terrible person? I don't like this like realistically broken woman. You know what I mean? I fucking love it. <laughs> she saw before she sprayed. That's respect to she her. She had plenty of time. Teddy, where are you? Oh my God, John. Is that Mary Joanna? <laughs> <laughs> Only like middle-aged white women could say Mary Joanna. I sold the pot to Ted. I never should have let Johnny try it. I have failed in my role as a, a, a sort of Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of true. He, true. Is like, he is like a Jiminy Cricket figure. It's 15K a year, Maddie. I'd have to sell myself at McDonald's. Oh, you could call it filet of flesh. Is that something? Is that something? He's testing his jokes out in the <laughs> script. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm not the one in the hot seat here. She's a drug dealer, and I want her out of this house tonight. Maddie, please. End of discussion tonight. You know, this seems dysfunctional, but this is actually one of the most functional Bostonian families out there. <laughs> Yeah, you're packing like that, you're gonna be here all night, man. Get your fucking ass out of here. Get your shit together! I didn't want you to have to leave. 
Even if your bed is the size of a pool table, I mean, that's probably about the size of a pool table, right? Shut the fuck up, Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know all the details of why I've been living here? When my own family lives 45 minutes away? I could easily commute to school. Well, I, I wouldn't say easily. I mean, a 45 minute, you know, minute commute is, is nothing. That kind of fucking sucks, dude. And instead, I introduced you to the wonderful world of drugs. That's so sweet that, like, after this learning moment, Ted and John never did weed again. They never smoked after this. The cover of People magazine is a photo of us, and it says, who's Laughlin now? <laughs> that is <laughs> fucking hard. Teddy, this whole Blair situation is really shitty. <sighs> yeah, I know. I mean, I never knew she thought of me that way. Yeah, this is a lot more serious than I expected it to be. The performances are really good, genuinely. I guess under all that complaining about racism, there's actually a good person in there. <laughs> <laughs> Beneath all that woke, there's actually a real person. Beneath all the woke, there's someone who's actually broke. That's true. <laughs> Damn, dude. She did Damn. bar woke and go broke. Bars. We are gonna. We gotta donate to our Patreon, bro. Deep down, I was saving it for a day like this. When the chips were down and all hope seemed lost. The hell is this? What is it going to be? Rocky Stallone? Yep. He came to me with the project and I said yes. It was going to be about this astronaut cop and this wisecracking bear. That sounds amazing. <laughs> but then the Challenger exploded, so they had to scrap the <laughs> Anyway, Stallone felt really bad about it, so he gave me this. Ew. Oh, it's from Rocky. Huh? Just let us stay. Oh. <sighs> Ted's a good person. Ted is good. Deep down. Deep That's down, amazing. Is this is a good arc in the episode. So you can stay. Oh, Maddie, you mean it? Yeah, fuck it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he got talked down quick, bro. He got talked down quick. What you did it gives me a lot of hope. Thank you. Uh, we were just... Don't worry. I'm, I, we're just a couple of young Sheldons. You know how it is. Bazinga. You just promise me this. No more drugs. Yeah. No more drugs. No more drugs. They're going to do something with their lives. Besides pot. Besides pot. <laughs> so anyways, Jeff, like I just feel like there's something so beautiful about smoking out of a bong with my Coca-Cola branded bottles near me and my Oreo Jeez. branded candies with me. And my Doritos too. Dude, that's like uh, those my are my Dorito favorite. branded Doritos. Dude, my Coke branded Coke is fucking delicious, man. And if you guys want to drink some Coke branded Coke with us, go to our Patreon at patreon.com slash spilling the milk. Thanks to Aeromir, Alzheimer's is a bad disease, we should cure it. Atomic Leon, Bento, Kane Rivers, Calm Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal X Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, g 3 om Gov, Stargazer, Gioni Snare, Yorison, Helio, Hunter Pearson, Hummus, Isaiah Alford, Jace LaRue, K99, Kamui, Lilac Moon, Murik55, Native5, Omega Waffles by the way, Patrick Case Randolph, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Sean City Navy Gaming, Tieran Stills, Trinity Martin, Val Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Lime. Thank you guys so much.